All right, welcome back. This is uh, Sunday. I started the video, I think, on Friday. I can't remember. Honestly, <laughs> but uh, having I've just been doing a lot of odd jobs uh, this weekend. I guess go make it in the video. I'm not sure yet, um, or what the video is even going to be. But I'm just uh, doing a lot of odd jobs. I decided in the middle of everything that I'm going to make a screen door to go around our door. I uh, to and then finally got some paint on here robin decided that's what she wanted and i think it looks daggone good um she's still got to put a final coat on the door but what i've decided to do is make a screen door uh we've still got a little bit of time left where uh we could have the screen door open right now have the door open right now just have the screen door um we like the fresh air coming in the house uh, and in springtime do the same so what i'm gonna do i don't have anything cut i just got back from the lumber store a while ago so what i've got this is going to be my door my actual door and it is going to sit more or less on this piece right here i'm going to take the unpainted pine you see right here that right there and i'm going to make another layer on top of here so then my door when it shuts it'll be even with that and my door is going to just be a um have the frame and then i will have a single i'm thinking a single piece coming down the center to the middle and have a piece across the middle and then two down here at the bottom along with the center piece uh -huh. I don't know if I'll get started on today because right now Robin is up at the pond working on she's putting a septic system in <laughs> for her uh, for her pond cabin Misty and Naomi just showed up they're up there helping her and it is now starting to rain so I'm anticipating them waiting until they're soaking wet and then they'll come down to the house <laughs> but anyway uh, we decided to have some homemade stew today, so that's what I am starting in the house here and See how far we get. Oh, yeah, and then there's There's my screen Right there Everything you see right here And I bought a drill bit was $62 It's unbelievable this uh, trim here after I get the screen on, I'm going to put that over top of where I staple the screen. So, and it's all getting painted. Probably the dark brown color. So, it doesn't matter if it, any of it matches or not. And the reason I bought this particular type of wood, this right here was actually uh, cheaper than that. So... But this here i couldn't find uh it was expensive and this stuff here uh, uh i just got this here it'll be all right it'll work one it'll look good once it's painted <laughs>
Yeah, all right, got my outer trim up there. And something to remember is this, this old trailer. You got these metal pieces on here. So I'm just going over top of the first section of wood. Some of it's uneven. So it's going to look a little uneven, but it's all right. Now I'm just going to measure this angle to that angle. I'll deduct a little bit. That's where my door's going to sit. on the top and the bottom I'm going to put a double one of these and here's the one that's going to be for the center I will probably bring one down here this is the top and Robin mentioned having um, I think two here and then the screen on top of it with the trim over the screen 
how that looks. This is going to be my hand side right here.
needs a little dough. Mm helicopter you heard or if you heard it I'm assuming you did those are the helicopters that run the air transport for the hospitals around here I always try to say a little prayer to myself sometimes out loud whenever they go by Nats are terrible this fall.
I'm thinking this is all on the framing. I don't know if you could see or get a good view of it or not. This is the bottom. This will be the hinge side. That'll be the handle side. It'll open this way. So at the top, we just got one in the center for bracing. And we got the three down here. And our screen, screen will go here. And then we'll have trim around it where the staples will be at. We'll put some trim over top of it. So Robin had mentioned maybe we'll take some pieces here in the corner. I don't know if I'll use this wood or we got some plywood down there. It'll be painted anyway. Have one of these in each corner to help with some more strength. Probably a good idea. So, but this is all I'm going to be doing today. So, now, tomorrow, we have to go, our metal is in for down there at the lean-to. So we're going to be going tomorrow morning to pick it up. Um, be uh, it's almost an hour there, an hour back, so a couple hours. So I'm not sure. I'd like to get this door finished tomorrow. There's a lot to do. At least have this screen everything on and get it mounted. Um, unless Robin wants to paint it before we put it up. She might want to. But I'd really like to get this door done this weekend because uh, tomorrow it's going to be close to 80 degrees. Sunday is going to be about the same, mid-70s. Uh, next week it's going to be kind of warm. So this time of year where we, we keep the trailer closed up because air conditioning, uh, we could open our windows, but our windows don't have any screens in them. So we have to put these temporary screens in. I like to air the place out before it gets to be winter. Uh, I don't. I like there. I'd rather have the natural coolness anyway. Uh, so would Robin, but it is what it is. When you're in a trailer, they get they get hot. But anyway, that's where we're at. So we may start. I may start the middle on the roof this week on the lean-to roof this weekend. Just have to see how it goes. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right now. It is about 42 degrees. It's supposed to be 77 today. So, it's supposed to be a really warm day. So here's what the plan is today. We've got to go about an hour down the road to get our metal for the lean-to. And I've got to do some little bit of maintenance on my work truck. Won't take long. I'm gonna, the plan is to finish the door instead of starting the roof. I want to get my door frame done so we can paint it. Then all we got to do is let it dry and then put a screen in and the trim around the screen where we staple it and then install it. So hopefully I can get that all done today. Uh, so that's the plan. You never know what's gonna happen. So, take it from there. Here, right here, yesterday is the results. We just created a whole lot more work. We had these trees felled or cut down, however you want to say it. And some of those will end up going to Robin's cabin. I'd say it's a pretty straight tree, some straight pieces in there. So, Got to cut all that up sometime, but that's in the near future. And then way back on the hill, there's other trees you can see laying down. Those were here when we moved in. And the plan's always been to get those out of the woods, but just haven't done it yet. There's, been, there's, there's a lot here to do. And you can't think about all of everything you want to get done because it can be overwhelming. So you just take it a day at a time. And let's see, is there anything else? I believe that's about it for this weekend. Uh, this is Saturday morning. 
So, we'll see what happens the rest of the weekend. So, here in a little bit, we're off to get the metal. Good morning. Last night when I got done, I decided to stick the frame in here just to see the fit I got. And when I did, I noticed that I measured wrong. It's supposed to be over here. So what I gotta do is I've already marked it. I gotta cut off the width of this board. I thought I had I thought I had my measurement to the outside, but I didn't. I had it to the inside. So, I just got to cut it off and remount it. No big deal. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> All right, we're back from getting the metal. It's down there. I don't know if you can see the truck. We will get to that later. But right now, I'm going to continue on the door. And I'm gonna turn the camera around here, and you can see the pencil mark. That yeah, pencil mark right there. That's how far off I was. Exactly the width of the board. I measured to here instead of here. I measured that side instead of that side. So everything came up too wide. So we're going to fix that. Not gonna be too bad. Just gotta take screws out. One there. One there, two here, cut it, put it back on. Not big of a deal. And then I'm gonna put some corner pieces on each corner to strengthen it up a little bit more. And I'm gonna put two screws from the bottom up to there. And one there and one there to make that stronger. And then we'll be ready to put the paint on it Hopefully it'll dry soon, and then we will put the screen on. Sounds easy. Let's see what happens. Cut now, and I've got the edge pieces. Not getting fancy, just cut some edge pieces. This will be just for, for some extra support. And they're not even on there yet. Robin still has to paint. She's getting ready to, she'll be doing all the painting here pretty soon. A couple of minutes. Get, we gotta put another cut on this side and the other side doesn't even have any paint on it yet that's that, that side will be facing inside the house so got it ready to go and after it's dry we'll put the screen on there so we may get it done today just have to wait on the paint waiting on the paint to dry <laughs> so i'm going to take it up here and make sure it fits real quick and then after that I'm gonna go down and uh, start on the metal well I have to go to the parts house for my for my truck but other than that we're gonna be finally getting the roof going on on the lean-to see you in a bit my wife decided that we didn't like my corner pieces Here's the corner piece I made. Now, now we're going to use plywood and we're going to make a triangle. I agreed that uh, she was right.
All right, I've got the screen on. Now I'm going to tack down the little corner pieces with some tack nails. And then I'll be ready to put the trim on. And I also have a complete mess up that I will tell you about here in a little bit. <laughs> but we're still going to use the door. Too much money. You do? Yeah, I do. Oh, I'm glad. I like the little copper nails in it. I guess I'll try to take my trim on an angle like that. Mm hmm Okay, early, earlier in the video, if you remember, yesterday evening, I realized, or not yesterday evening, was it Friday evening? I don't know. But I, I test fitted my frame and it was too wide. So yesterday, I just cut off an inch and a half, boom, screwed it back together, and it's fine. What I forgot to, to realize was all of my uh, pieces that I put for my design in here, they are now an inch and a half different. I didn't redo those. And it's way too late to do that. So I'm going to try to make up the difference with this center piece of trim I'm going to put on here. It's not going to be an inch and a half different, but maybe it'll be create an optical illusion from a distance to where it looks even because it'll be pretty easy to tell that's how I noticed it I was here earlier getting ready to start and I noticed that this brace looked like it was further that way that's what it is it's where I cut an inch and a half off this side and then just a few minutes ago I realized I put my hinges on the wrong side of the door this is the hinge side. So now, which Robin was going to still have to touch up a little bit of paint, not much. Now we're going to have to put some wood filler in here and repaint that. Wonderful. Other than that, it's looking good. Okay, we've got it done except for the handle I'll do that when i put it up and robin's gonna touch up the paint where it got scuffed up but here's the way it's gonna look kind of hard to see it'll get a better idea when it's up that over there is the bottom it's the top Next time I'll show it to you is after I get it hung up. All right, so I'm back up here. There's pretty much the finished product. Robin still has some paint touch up to do. 
That's a view of it backed up a little bit. And then there's the handle put on it. Spring, we got old fashioned spring on it. And a little latch for the doggies so they can't push the door open. And some felt pads because I didn't want it just smacking. When you hear it shut, it still does a little bit, but that's all right. <laughs> so it makes it, the pads make it stick out a little bit, but over time they'll wear down a little bit. But <clears throat> I'm not looking for a professional look, as you can tell. So that's where we're at with it. Hey, honey. Hi. <laughs>